And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. So we played some mid-range frostbite. We went eight and two. Uh, not going to do all 20 games like we did with the Tarek Draven and the Poros Give It All because we're going to have the tournament tomorrow. And what we want to do now is have uh, play some gauntlets, have some good practice with the gauntlets and, and the banning of decks and things like that, exactly the mode for the tournaments. Plus I'm expecting the mid-range frostbite deck to get banned most of the time, so we don't probably don't need to practice with that one as much. One and two, I've also played that deck a ton and I, I uh, know what we're doing. I basically really wanted to try out the Rhymeping Wolves and I was real happy with the Rhymeping Wolves, so I'm happy with the list that we have. So let's, let's try the, the gauntlet. So we're going to uh, go to our gauntlet. We're going to play, um, Let's see, Tarek Draven, select. Poros give it all, select. And Midrange Frostbite, select. So here are our decks. And we can kind of, we can play this, you know, like normal, like uh, we'll see what, um, you know, what are our uh, opponents, you know, what they ban, what they have, that kind of stuff. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, so they have Go Hard, Draven Ezreal, and this Freljord deck, I'm gonna ban that one. And, um, so yeah, we're gonna have to beat Draven Ezreal and Go Hard. So, good practice here. Alright, they're choosing the Poro deck. They're banning the Poros. Um, we played a bunch of mid-range Frostbite today, let's, let's go ahead and start with the Tarek Draven. Tarek Draven versus Go Hard. But yeah, go hard with Fizz. Let's get Mulligan the Precious Pet. That card doesn't match up against go hard very well, and we already have a one drop, two drop. Yeah, of course we want to find our champions. Draven and Tarek are the two best cards to draw. There we go, there's a Draven. Ours is the one true light. I'm gonna, sometimes I wait on playing Solari Soldier to be able to play it as a 3-3 attacking. I'm not going to this time. I think I want, I just want to put the pressure on them. Do we get a gem? Wow, we get a free gem. Free gem. Already two go hards. That is scary, because that means pack your bags could be coming really fast. So that's very scary. Going with coral creatures that will sometimes. Yes, sometimes coral creatures will just create a go hard. I hope not, but that's that's a possibility. So this is the one mana spell. Wow, it did create Go Hard. That was the that was the one mana spell the coral creatures created. It created Go Hard. That's some luck. That's some luck right there. Just, uh, just pretend I'm naughty, hey? Let's boogie. What brings you here? No kills, no entry. All right, let's go with the pale cascade. Yeah, so we banned the Freljord Shadow Isles deck. It had Trundle, Trindamir, and Anivia, but we banned that, and so they have this uh, Fizz version of Go Hard, as well as Draven Ezreal.
right, so at least they don't have another go hard right now. Let's do this. Let's put him down to five. So I can go for the kill with the might and the transfusion. I don't really see why not. We know a lot of the cards in hand are cards like Stalking Shadows, a bunch of units. Okay, there we go. 16. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. This isn't just Alright, so this isn't just like the other format, because this is one where we just win one game. This is going to be a really tough deck to beat, this this Frostbite deck with either of these. Which one can beat the Frostbite deck better? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so yeah, so this is just one game with this format. I thought they were going to be doing it the uh, best of three. You think Poros are better against Frostbite? Poros are, are pretty rough against Reckoning. But yeah, maybe it, maybe it is. This is a good test here. I guess I don't really need to Culling Strike cards. Um, we did not face a uh, mid-range Frostbite with Tarek Draven two days ago. We did face it with Poro's Give It All. We lost with Poro's Give It All. Coming in hot! Victory at any cost! I'm just gonna do this. I know I could play Ballista. They play Trapper. They get to, like, block and Frostbite and stuff. Yeah. Could have cast Might. Kept it alive, dealt six damage to them. I'm gonna let it happen though. All the world on one arrow. It's Draven time. It's true that the Frostbite deck doesn't like now. real fast decks as much. Steel also. Troll chant. Yeah, it's a good troll chant. That's a good troll chant. The good news is we got a Harsh Winds out of their hand. You know, that's a card that they play a finite number of. Got one Harsh Winds out of their hand. Um, which, you know, like, Kato makes something very big and isn't that great against Harsh Winds. Bow to no one. Yeah, so that's a force. This Ash is going to level up. What time is it? If they attack, but it... Okay. I'll lead us to victory. Yeah, the mid range frostbite deck looks really good.
right. This is the power of an iceborn. It is me. They're playing keto. Crazy. Go time. Swiftly now. Stand and fight. Wow. So I have twenty seven overwhelm damage. I just don't I don't have that much that I can block. I just don't have enough health that can block. So this is what losing feels like? Sucks. All right, so go hard or Lee Sin Zed. I like I like mid-range frostbite's matchup against Lisa and Zed more than Tarek Draven. And both you know, I like both decks against Go Hard. Calling Strike could be okay of, of like killing a twisted fate to keep it from leveling up. <clears throat> but I think we need to be the aggressor and try to just get size out here. Ugh. Hate drawing the Glory Seeker when it's a 5-1. Would have loved drawing it, you know, being a 6-2. That's a big difference against the card. Go hard. Yeah, if we could have just switched those two draws, that would have been perfect. I guess I'm just going to let it die. I don't really have a better option. Oh, no go hard. So hopefully no twist of fate, because I didn't keep cooling strike. Okay, cool. Took the bait. Let's get the other trap in place so we can get drawn these enraged yetis even faster. There's Twisted Fate. That card is awesome. I will unite the failure. Right, I guess I should have kept calling strike. Stand I wasn't sure about that one, but it looks definitely looks like I should have kept calling strike. Keep up 
Keep up. Okay, that's a good call. Goomba says I keep calling strike. Uh, also to negate glimpse beyond. That's a good call. And the probably like the the most likely way I lose it is that you know turn four twist of fate the levels up. Like that's that's a difficult way to, to lose. So yeah, it's a good so good good practice round here because I think I think uh, moving forward I will be keeping uh, I'll be keeping calling strike now. No, I don't like keeping Trapper. Like, Trapper was a 3-1. I'm not going to use the Brittle Steel to keep the 3-1 alive whenever they are... You know, they, they kill one health thing super easily. I know I have this other uh, Flash Freeze for the Ash, but... Okay, now this game's heating up. Yeah, I think this game's over, so... good, Really good lesson to learn, so... Calling Strike definitely a keep because even if you know they don't have Twisted Fate, they probably have Glimpse Beyond. Um, yeah, good, good lesson. Stand together. You can't do this. Why are you here? Yeah, Reckoning is is great in this matchup. Yes. Um. They're not going to have room in their hand for all these cards. Eyes open. I guess I'll let them kill this Ash and just play the other Ash, I guess. Kind of the same thing of Flash Freezing or not. But, you know, red, red card just kills Ash. Gotta go with the flow. I guess I'll, so it's like, what do I want to get gold carded? I guess I would have the Enrage Yeti get gold carded. Dead in their tracks. Hopefully we draw Triparian Assessor. All the world on one arrow. Yeah, so they have eight cards in hand. Oh, they had another pack your bags. That's too bad. You know, that just gives them the opportunity to draw more cards. Link strike is decent. Who says I don't share? Always on the run. So if they find another go hard, which is gotta be likely, we are dead. He started without me. I pull the strings. I can't believe go hard only cost one mana. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm dead if they have oh, like. If they had go hard, they would have. I guess if they had go hard, they would have played it before, and they would have attacked with these things. It's a good draw. Okay, let's see. Where are you? Three. Okay. So that, that makes the Elise not be able to block the Troll Chant does. It will all be over soon. Oh, right, right. What am I thinking? Ash hasn't leveled up. They can still block with those. Hmm. Right, Ash wasn't leveled up. There's nothing to fear. I 
They did a great job of not burning cards. Assessor? Darn. We play in build rules, son. The War Mother will unite us all. So, Packer Bags kills, puts me to three, and so we, yeah, we die if they have Packer Bags. So many years, so much misery. They, they definitely have Packer Bags now. Just, they just drew four cards. Oh, they have so many Gohards in their deck. They definitely have Packer Bags now. Unfortunately, Sejuani doesn't kill them through Packer Bags, so I don't. I don't think I can win. I don't see anything to do. Bow to no one. Huh. How have we not lost this game yet? It will all be over soon. I guess, it, I guess Elise is telling us it will all be over soon, and she's probably right. They made pur purposeful blocks to have more things die. But, like I said, that was a really good learning game. Shouldn't have mulligan that, that culling strike. Alright, so first time playing against somebody that doesn't have Freljord Shadow Isles. Alright, I like, I like Tarek Draven's chances of running over either of these other two decks. Looks like they're going with Deep. I think that we... I think our deck matches up pretty well against Deep. Okay, well... <laughs> maybe not. Nocturne Fervor, this is like the last... This is like the 39th slot that I'm trying to decide what to play. Um... Yeah, like last we played the Legion Saboteur during our other video instead of that Noxion Fervor. Just trying out Noxion Fervor. I think I'm, I may play the the um, Arachnoid Sentry though, the 3 2 stun 3 mana unit. Yeah, this, this gauntlet's a different one. This is like a. I guess this is the pick and ban standard gauntlet. Um. And so there's only there's only one you only play one game you just pick one of theirs and ban it and then you just play one game so this isn't the best two out of three which the the tournament tomorrow will be the best two out of three so this is just uh, play one game. I have the best job. No, you don't. You do not double. No, fervor does not get doubled with Tarek, No. Let's boogie. For spells to get doubled, they have to only target. Um, Tarek and nothing else. Time for the money makers. I want to get this out of here and not let them block with that again. Cool. Get rid of both those dredgers. It's good. Alright, another one of those. Jettison. I'm ready 
Can I do 20 damage? So right now this is... So I have 8 mana, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I can go Spinning Axe also. So this is... Alright, so let's count the damage. This, this is 6 damage. This will be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because we can copy that. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Looks like 18 damage plus a level up, 19. Ugh. Looks like I have 19 damage. What are you waiting for? That's too bad. Looks like I just have 19. What time is it? But with Kato and with Overwhelm, this is probably. I guess I could have recounted this. This is. I mean, we'll have to see what they block. What they play to block. I was gonna say their best case scenario is the three-two life steal. Yeah, so they'll be able to stay alive. Never submit. I give you muscles. I just don't really want to discard any of these cards to spinning axe, but we would level up Draven, which would be nice to level up Draven. Targeted the Draven. But now we don't have to worry about Ruination. With them playing that. Yeah, they better be deep this next turn. Okay. Yeah, I will I will take that matchup. I'll take our Taric Draven deck against Deep all day. All right, Shen, ooh, both Shen Fiora and Midrange Frostbite, both those decks are amazing. Thank you for the cheers, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you very much. So we'll get rid of the Shen Fiora. All right, they got rid, rid of my Midrange Frostbite. Let's try Poros, Poros. Let's play the Poros deck. We haven't played them, but then yeah, then they also have like a Targon deck. This is this is not a li a lineup I like. These are all decks I don't like. All three of those, so. Don't want to face this lineup tomorrow. All right, playing some Poros. Let's get rid of the Porealis and keep the rest. Not like I dislike Porealis; it's just you know kind of expensive. What's up, Mama Man? My favorite champion. Probably Teemo. It's so fun to play the Puff Caps. Any time that you win a game with Puff Caps, it's very, uh, very satisfying. And that's what I really like about playing Teemo. So, 3 2 Avarosan sentries, kind of broken. Really? So, they played Turbo Omen Hawk. The very top card is a 2 mana card, the very next card is a 3 mana card. That's living the dream right there. That's what we call that. Living the dream. <laughs> then, yeah, of course. The, the very first top card is the Enraged Jetty. Why not? A chill in the air. Wow, it's living the dream. Yeah, we got we got curved. Our strength is yours. <laughs> we got curved.
We can win this game though. The signal so I'm going to be trying turn 8. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to win with turn 8, give it all. That's my plan. Where did that one run off to? Quick attack. Nothing escapes my watch. Winter take you. Would you believe he once bit in my hand? <laughs> So we could give it all this turn. I need just a moment. That'd make these all four four elusives, but they're gonna have to do a lot of blocking and stuff. I don't I don't think I do give it all right now. Man, I don't I don't like the overwhelm keyword, but kinda have to play this card. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing that, playing Troll Champ, playing Mystic Shot. Why would you challenge that one and not the 4-4? Four four? Yeah, it was quick attack last turn. You've gone and spoke them. Behind four things. Um That's fine with me. Cool. All right, so we get we get five things still, which is what I wanted. I wanted to make sure five things survived, and then we can try to to one shot them with give it all. Obviously, they can have a lot of things that stop me. Reckoning being the worst, but this is my best chance of winning. Yeah, if they have reckoning, I lose. I was gonna lose to Reckoning anyway. Alright, Calling Strike probably means I lose also. Now that give it all doesn't really do anything. You own what you take. If only I'd switch those two. If only we drew Daring Portal last turn. And by this turn, yeah, like, if we drew Daring Portal last turn, we could have led with Daring Portal first. Obviously, the Overwhelm from the Z20 kills us. I'm not sure which deck has a better chance of beating Midrange Frostbite, the Poros or Taric Draven. I kind of feel like Taric Draven from playing, you know, that was... We played two games here against Midrange Frostbite. And I think that Taric Draven looked to have a better chance than the Poros. Um, but if if we run into that with Midrange and Shen Fiora, honestly, I think I should... You know, I, I banned Shen Fiora right there. But I think what I learned like kind of going forward is that I think I'm going to ban the Midrange Frostbite and just play again. I think I have a better chance beating Shen Fiora. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because um, we were... Uh, we are two and one against Shen Fiora with Tarek Draven last time, so I, I think that's can be kind of coin toss matchup. So I think that's a better chance. So see, we're just getting a lot of a lot of good practice, a lot of good learning, a lot of good practice um, in for tomorrow. So there's five games there with the gauntlet. Let's play uh, five more. We'll, we'll uh, do our last video before um the tournament we're gonna play five more like this is uh, good good practice all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well i would appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video